When multiple arteries are blocked, restricting blood flow to the heart, there used to be one solution, open heart surgery. Today, York Hospital utilizes a cutting edge collaborative approach that teams up the heart surgeon and the cardiologist to restore blood flow with minimally invasive procedures. When a patient presents with two or three blocked arteries, simple stenting may not be sufficient to keep blood flowing. However, if just one artery could be bypassed, stenting the remaining clogged arteries is typically more than adequate to ensure blood flow to the heart. Now robotically we're able to uh, do that operation through a very small incision where we do not uh, divide the breastbone, we don't put them on bypass. If you can do a limited operation to take care of the artery that's not a good stentable artery. That bypass, uh, that gives the patient the best option in terms of uh, fixing that artery. And then proceed to just do the stenting in the other arteries and at the end of the day the patient gets the least invasive, most efficient care for his blockages. For years now, surgeons have utilized the left interior mammary artery, or lima, to bypass blocked main arteries. During the surgery, a bypass is created by grafting a piece of the vein above and below the blocked area of a coronary artery, enabling blood to flow around the obstruction. Today, the surgeons at York Hospital use the Da Vinci robotic surgical system to accomplish this bypass. Rather than an invasive open chest surgery where the patient's sternum is separated, allowing access to the heart, robotic-assisted surgeons can now accomplish a single graft of the left internal mammary artery to left anterior descending artery, lima to LAD, using the Da Vinci. The Da Vinci system consists of a surgeon's console that is in the same room as the patient and a patient side cart with four interactive robotic arms controlled from the console. Three of the arms are for tools that hold objects such as a scalpel, scissors, and electrocautery instruments. The fourth arm is an endoscopic camera that contains two lenses which affords the surgeon full stereoscopic vision from the console. The end result is like working in a three-dimensional environment. The surgeon sits at the console and looks through two eye holes at a 3D image of the procedure while maneuvering the arms with foot pedals and hand controllers. The Da Vinci system scales, filters, and translates the surgeon's hand movements into more precise micro-movements of the instruments, which operate through small incisions in the body. Using this device, the surgeon reroutes the left interior mammary and uses it to bypass the left anterior descending artery. With the bypass, a more stable flow of blood is enabled. Basically, we do the bypass on one day and then the uh, uh, following day, if it looks like they're ready to go down for the uh, next procedure, then what they're able to do is uh, actually do an angiogram to show that my bypass is working the way we expect it to, and then uh, um, uh, after that stent, whatever vessels need to be uh, stented. The stenting procedure takes place in the cath lab. The patient is awake and alert. A local anesthetic is applied to numb the catheter insertion area. Then the narrow areas of the arteries are located by injecting dye and reviewing live x-rays called fluoroscopy. The dye does not allow x-rays to pass through, so the physician is able to clearly see arteries and use the live x-rays to guide them to the blockage. Through needle puncture in the groin or arm, the cardiologist inserts a catheter guided to the location via fluoroscopy. The physician then widens the blockage by inflating a balloon at the site of the blockage. Using another catheter, the physician guides a compressed stent to the same area in the artery. A stent is a mesh metal tube that is expanded in the artery, keeping the walls more permanently separated. Once the stent is in place, the physician releases it. The stent then expands to fit the artery. A balloon catheter is once again introduced to further expand the stent. The entire procedure typically takes under one hour, and the results are immediate. One incision, um, less pain in and out of the hospital uh, uh, more quickly. And then cosmetically, particularly for females, you're uh, going to be able to work through a little incision underneath the breast where uh, the scar is really hidden. There's less uh, transfusion with this than there would be with a typical bypass. Uh, also, less risk of infections. Now with the new improvements, we're making a good operation even better. It's just been a thrill to see what we've accomplished. We're going to leave a great program for the posterity of this county. That's the most important thing to me. And I was proud as heck to show them what we do up here. Uh, and, and it's just great.